Good evening, folks. It's a beautiful sunny evening here in Black Falls. Let's bow our heads before we begin our study for the evening. Father in heaven, I thank you. I thank you for the gift of life. I thank you for the sun that is shining down and warming our day right now. And I thank you for your sun that shines into our lives and illuminates our minds and our hearts. And I pray that others can feel the warmth of him radiating through each one of us into our lives and into the lives of our friends and neighbors and family. Bless us now and send your spirit to be with us as we study, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 18 and 19. 1 Peter 1, 18 and 19 says, Ye were not redeemed with corruptible things such as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers, but you were redeemed with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. Jesus, precious Savior, may we study the love of the Father that he gave his dear son to die for the fallen world. As we study this inexpressible love in the light of the cross of Calvary, we are filled with wonder and amazement. Uh, and just uh, so you know, I'm reading from letter 6, June 16, 1881. And here's what it says. We see mercy, tenderness, forgiveness blended harmoniously with justice, dignity, and power. Jesus bids the sinner to look to him and live. I, he says, have found a ransom. The gulf of perdition opened by sin is bridged by the cross of Calvary. Penitent believing souls may see a forgiving father reconciling us to himself by that cross of Calvary. The knowledge of Christ reveals the depth of sin, and it is a offensive and its offensive character. While by faith we see the cleansing stream, the blood of Jesus, which washes away every spot and every stain of sin, this salvation is not half appreciated. Salvation brought to us through the blood of Jesus is not estimated as of priceless value. Mercy, brothers and sisters, as I'm reading this, do some of us make light of the great cost for our salvation? Do we treat it so trivially uh, that, that we don't even respect our own experience with Jesus? Something for us to think about uh, as we move forward. Have we taken things as serious as we should when it comes to our Savior dying on a cross for us. That's why we're told we should think about it for an hour at least each day. Think of the life of Christ, especially the closing scenes where he suffered and died so that we could live. He took the punishment that I deserve. He took the punishment that you deserve. Each time I get on my knees and I say, Lord, I messed up. Lord, I need your forgiveness. I am once again driving those nails in his hands. That should affect me. That should cause me to cry out for help so that I can do better next time and not fall into those traps. And with the help of the Holy Spirit, we grow each and every day from glory to glory. And that's the wonderful news of the cross of Jesus. By faith, this gift must be fully accepted as the great gift of God through Christ Jesus. The burden of our sin and of our sorrow was laid upon one who is merciful to pardon and mighty to save. Why are we so cold? Why are we so worldly? Why are we so careless? Why does not the love of Jesus burn upon the altar of our hearts? He carried the burden of our sins, of our sorrows. Why? Do we not have greater faith? Why do we not trust and fully receive by might be all uh, by faith everything that at hand was nailed to the cross that might be all powerful to save? Why cannot we trust that love which has been expressed to us in such an infinite sacrifice? Look in faith to the cross, look and live. Let's bow our heads. Father in heaven, may we look to you each day, each moment of every day, because looking upon you, gazing upon you, will give us life. 
And Lord, I pray that each one of us chooses life daily and fixes our eyes on the life giver. Bless us now, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, folks, blessings once again. Hope you're still enjoying camp meeting. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. See you again tomorrow.